We are back with more uh, positional previews for the Cleveland Browns in the upcoming 2022 season. This will be the penultimate video in the positional previews Brown series as we're going to be covering the safety position, uh, which means after this that we're going to be done with the defensive side of the ball and the only uh, position left to cover will be the special teams unit. So, But for now, let's get into the safeties. We're going to start off with John Johnson. He had a very solid season last year after being a free agent pickup from the Rams last offseason. I say a solid season, but not a great season. Maybe not as good of a season as the front office anticipated or some of the fans. Uh, hopefully he can be more of a game breaker this year as he did seem to have a better second half of the season, much like a lot of the defense for the Browns last year. His back half of the season was, was much better than the first half. So hopefully with another year in Joe Wood's system, another full off season, uh, he can gel with that defense even better and have a much better season than even he had last year, which again, wasn't bad, but maybe not as great as some people might've expected. Uh, John Johnson is definitely the headline safety of the secondary group. So hopefully he can continue to just be as good as he has been and even better. Moving on to Grant Delpit. This is his technically his second year, but you know, his rookie year, he was completely injured. So it, does, it wasn't really his rookie year, but his second full year playing in the league, he had a pretty solid year after missing again, his draft year with an injury. I, I definitely think he's the starting safety, even if it's, they're only playing two safeties. I think it's him and John Johnson. Maybe that changes with some of the play in preseason and camp. But I think as it stands right now, your two definite starting safeties are going to be Grant Delpit and uh, John Johnson. Hopefully, again, much like John Johnson, another year in this uh, defensive system with Joe Woods, more familiarity, uh, more you know continuity with teammates and all that. And hopefully, he can continue to improve. And you know, he he was good his rookie season. I think he was kind of limited with his snap count. So hopefully, those restrictions are taken off a little bit as he heals up even more he should be completely healthy and as his you know just his knowledge of the defensive playbook just gets better and better someone else who could make a uh, a push for that starting role however is ronnie harrison uh he's shown that he can make an impact in a browns uniform uh when they first traded for him for i think they only traded him for a fifth round pick which is a pretty good value for him he was very well he played pretty good in that secondary Last year was a bit of a step back for him in terms of play and also just some undisciplined stuff. I mean, week one, look, I, I get that the Chiefs, that Chiefs coach pushed you first, but like you have to know that you can't put your hands on a coach or an official or anybody not in pads or else they're just going to immediately eject you no matter what the circumstance is. And that's what happened. And there's just more, you know, uh, some un undisciplined play from Ronnie Harrison that maybe if, you know, things go better in the season and go better early on, then maybe that can help calm him down a little bit. But, you know, just, just cut out some of the dumb shit, and that's, that should be good. Ronnie Harrison will definitely be on the field in, in pass coverage packages. This isn't like he's just going to ride on the bench and only get, you know, five snaps a game or something. He's going to see the field and a lot of it. And again, he could push Grant Delpit uh, for a starting safety role on the defense. And even if he doesn't make that starting role, he's definitely the immediate third guy in pass coverage situations ronnie harrison is going to be seeing the field a lot as he should he he has proven that he's worthy of it so i'm excited for what he's going to do this season again just you know tone down the undisciplined play and that should be great for the browns moving on now to second year guy richard lecount he was a 2021 fifth round pick from georgia uh he managed to play some last season he did fine uh you know we'll see what he does in camp We'll see how he plays in the preseason. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on him because I think he could be a guy who definitely plays well above what is his value is at, as a fifth rounder. He obviously stuck around last season, which says a lot for a fifth round pick. And I think this year they're expecting him to, if not, you know, be on the field consistently, they're at least expecting him to play as a fill in role with like if when an injury does happen or somebody has you know steps out for whatever reason I feel like Richard LeCount could very well be a very serviceable guy you can put in the secondary and not be sweating bullets as a fan or as a team or anything like that so I think Richard LeCount is solid if he can continue to develop then he might become more of an impact player and get more snaps on defense uh, but for now he's just kind of a nice young prospect to just let develop in your system and maybe throw him in there if you have to give him some snaps so he's not completely sitting on the bench and just kind of you know you know walk him along the system for a little bit more this year 
We're going to move on to a guy that the Browns know pretty well in Javante Moffitt. He's played with the Browns in the last two years. However, he was signed by the Jets, but he was very recently waived and then claimed back by the Cleveland Browns. Uh, so he's mostly played on special teams, hasn't really seen too many defensive snaps. Uh, so if he makes the 53-man roster, it will probably be as a special teams player who maybe gets some snaps in the secondary if there's injury issues or you know, if they're having a, re a really heavy pass uh, pass coverage package for him there. But uh, Javante Moffitt, you know, you need some guys who you know what you're getting. And if you're a, if you're a good contributor on special teams, that's I think that's a really underrated uh, position you can be at if you're a gunner and you can, uh, you know, really feel the punt inside the five or something like that and you're really good at that, then that could work out for the Browns. And, you know, they know him. He's a familiar face. And, you know, it's, it's training camp, so you might as well bring him in and see what he's got. Another guy who was claimed off of waivers uh, in May from Atlanta was Luther Kirk. Uh, he's bounced around some practice squads the last couple of years. He appeared in one NFL game on the Falcons, and he only got special teams reps uh, in that game. So kind of similar to Javante Moffitt, but he has even less playing experience than Javante Moffitt does. He probably doesn't crack the final 53, but again, if he does, it, it'll probably just be on the special teams. And if he's good on special teams, then that's great. Mike Prefer can use him and get all those guys all you know special team snaps and that'll be great but I don't see him making a huge impact as far as actually playing in the safety position and then we have undrafted rookie DeAnthony Bell uh, he's from West Florida I don't really know anything about him I'm not a I, I, I haven't caught up on my West Florida University film or however whatever that college is uh, probably just a training camp flyer uh, so, you know somebody somebody that this uh, the organization can get to know Hopefully he's a diamond in the rough. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what he we'll see what he does in camp in the preseason. If he turns some heads, if he, if he surprises a lot of people, it wouldn't surprise me if you know he gets cut once they have to start limiting that roster space. So that was the safety position for the Browns. That are all the players who are signed there. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that Luther Kirk uh, was listed as a cornerback on the ESPN depth chart for the Browns, but the official Browns website has him listed as a safety. So I just went with whatever the Browns website said so if he's actually a, a cornerback don't kill me in the comments or or do if you because you probably haven't watched this far but whatever uh if you have watched this far thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it and you would like to see more please feel free to like and subscribe let me know what you think about the brown safety position in the comments below thank you all again for watching and i will see you at the next one